this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 19th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Having a look here, this is the volcanic activity and as well the planetary positioning report. Always starting out here looking at our planetary positions for the next couple weeks, heading into week 25, halfway through the year. And we have quite an alignment right now with Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. In the morning skies all lined up. Saturn. We've got Mercury heading into a retrograde with Venus. Amazing morning skies right now as we're going through this planetary alignment that some say hasn't happened in 800 to 1,000 years. Let's have a look at exactly where everybody is right now and where they will be right up until the end of June and into July. Mercury will be heading into a retrograde with Venus towards the end of the month, the 29th. Other than that, Earth is being left behind as Mercury and Venus are racing around in front of us. But a particular alignment, as I said, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, and Venus all lined up. And still, we're all in the one corner of the pie, hanging out here for a -a once-in-a-lifetime event. Fast-forwarding up until 2025, just some interesting alignments all coming up here. Some that have not happened in a very long time. Now let's have a look at volcanoes across the world as they're inactive and erupting. 47 volcanoes, according to Volcanic Discovery and as well Global Volcanism Program. Looking here at Volcano Discovery is showing all of the active volcanoes. Popo in Mexico, Ascente Aguito, as well Fuego, Guatemala. Masaya, Recon de la Veja, zoning in to Colombia and Peru, where we have the active Nevadas de Ruiz, Reventador, and as well Sangue. Down to Peru with the active Sabancaya. Also Nevados de Chilean and Villa Rica. Now all of these links are in the description below. You can always check it out at any time yourself. Once a week I like to give you guys an update here on how many are erupting and active. We have the active near Mirigira. And as well, erupting near Gongo, Old Doña, Ert to Ale, up into Italy here with, of course, Etna, Mount Etna and Stromboli. Notable here in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and North Atlantic with St. George. And as well, Fagradis Folly and Askja. Just noting those out. Those are showing signs of unrest. Part of that list. We've got the Barren Island Volcano. Krakatoa. Merapi. Semeru. And Luotolo. Heading through Indonesia. Northern Indonesia here with Ibu and Dukono. And still erupting Bulasan in the Philippines. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Sakurajima in Japan. And then Ebeko, a volcano in southern Kamchatka. Shevalich. Bezimieni 
and Karamiski, all active reports and erupting across the Aleutian Islands here with Semsnopochnoi, the Great Sitkin, and Pavlov Volcano. Notable here, Cleveland Volcano showing signs of unrest towards the end of May. Kilauea, Shield Volcano still erupting. Huge Crater Dome has been building recently. Over Papua New Guinea, Manam, Langila, Uluwan, and Bagana. So very active across Papua New Guinea right now, as well as Aoba. Yes, sir. Heading into New Caledonia. And then last but not least, the mighty Erubis in the Antarctic. So right now we are reporting 47 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Notable earthquake swarm happening in China. Quick look here at the last seven days. There's the last two weeks. And of course, this is all open source. Links will be in the description. Here's the Global Volcanism Program, active and erupting 47 volcanoes as of June 5th. And here is the long list of all of the volcanoes that are active and erupting. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. And again, a big shout out to all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. I hope you all were able to spend quality time with your children or vice versa. Having a look at windy SO2 forecast, always coinciding with this report. Quite a bit of SO2 emitting over the New Madrid. That's right, over eastern United States. The Ozarks, Virginia. Down into Georgia where we had that weird 3.9 earthquake. Considering most of these SO2 coming out of Central is coming from three volcanoes that are in the region. That's a lot of SO2 coming out of the U.S. Looking around the world, looking at our largest contributor, northern China and North Korea. As well, New Caledonia, Aoba. Quite a bit of SO2 coming out of South Africa. Coinciding here with Null School SO2 forecast with our broken down jet stream and the newly injected SO2 emissions from the 47 volcanoes. This is what our world looks like. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the Volcanic Activity Report, Planetary Positions for Week 25, 2022, embarking into summertime. Welcome. God bless. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.